if you look at our current uh, share price where it's traded and you look at the TNAV after our results of now December 12th, we see that we are currently trading at a 60% discount to our TNAV. That is a concern, you know, because the market tend to look at just our earning ability and then don't understand the real true value of what is the underlying value in York. Recent land sales in the Mapumalanga region just confirmed that the value we actually show in our balance sheet is quite related, market related, and in some cases quite below what the current market value of land with trees on is actually been selling for. That in itself poised the question to investors then, if you look at York, uh, how are we going to unlock this value? The, the simple answer to, to investors in the market is, is that York will provide you a, a growth over a medium to a long term if you look at an asset class like us. In the short term, the, the challenge for us would be to generate, to improve our cash generating ability, it means looking at our EBITDA line. And for that, we have designed or developed the integrated uh, site concept, which nearly goes around cost optimization and in order to derive the bigger value from our plantation asset. To put that in numbers, we currently utilize about 85% of that growth, and with the integrated site concept, we'll move that up to as high as 95%, which means that your actual growth cycle of 25 years will be optimally, the return that you get out of that growth cycle will be will be in more of a more optimal return than before. A further diversification that we do in York goes around, you know, this plantation asset. As we clear fell trees, we replant those hectares. And what we replant them with is quite critical because you make a 25-year planting decision. York has developed some hybrid species and the results from these hybrid species and the growth that we get from these hybrid species is quite uh, astonishing. In some areas, and at, at a three-year and a seven-year period, growth rates are higher in the region of 30, even as high as 40% to the similar species at the similar age from a, from a control group. That's what we're replanting our plantations with, which challenges us, or that brings the ability that we take the growth cycle from 25 years down to, let's say, 21 years, which even further would improve York's cash generating ability from a plantation asset. So from investment rationale, looking at York, just to look at the PE ratio and just looking at the results, I think one would be, must be very careful to really study the underlying value in York. A, a good example of this is the deferred tax liability that sits on a balance sheet of close to over 500 million rand. That deferred tax liability is only attributed to the forestry asset and is only payable once we stop replanting our plantation asset. Now, that is something that one needs to take into consideration when you look at our underlying asset value of the business. So over and all, for me, looking at York Timbers, the way the company is, 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 is poised today, fundamentally as it is, provides a very good, in, attractive investment for, for the current environment, but even so more, it provides it's even a better platform for a growth strategy, which I think will uh, unlock even more value for our shareholders going forward.